Hello YouTube, welcome to this special edition of Driving in the News for this Super Sunday. Can't mention the name of the big game, but y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, let's get it on this special edition Driving in the News. Yes, WINS FM at HD1 New York. Always live on the free Odyssey app. Wings News Time 959. 1010 Winds Acura the rest of today. Sun fading behind clouds. High today 48. Got a storm moving off the east coast. That's going to come tonight. I'll see some rain from the city to Long Island, especially down the Jersey Shore. Low tonight 37. Tomorrow, Monday, clouds giving way to sunshine. Pleasant, mild afternoon. Monday's high 53. Right now we've got 42 degrees. It is partly sunny in Central Park. 42 going up to 48 in Midtown. More people get their news from 1010 Winds than from any other radio station in the nation. Shimon Siegel is our service aide. Jack Alexander is our writer. Tanya Mercado at the editor's desk. I'm Brian Britton. All news, all the time. This is 1010 Winds at 92.3 FM, New York. Good morning. 42 degrees at 10 o'clock. I'm Kathleen Marple Kelb, and here's what's happening. It's happened again. U.S. fighters shot down a high altitude object over northern Canada. New twist in the controversy over a New Jersey girl's videotape beating and later death by suicide. The school superintendent has resigned. Burglary in a trendy Soho boutique. Smash and grab robbers got away with more than 50 grand worth of Givenchy merch. Got a bet in the big game? Yeah, you and millions of your pals. Sportsbook is huge business this Super Bowl Sunday. It's a good owl day. No, it's a superb owl Sunday. There's word that Flacco the Escape Central Park owl has eaten. Knicks and Rangers win. Nets, Isles, Devils lose. Super Bowl kickoff at 630. 10 winds AccuWeather. Sun gives way to clouds, the high 48, maybe a little rain and breeze from a storm off the coast tonight. Winds East Time 1001. Traffic and transit now. Here's Jody Vale. And Kathleen, let's head to New Jersey, New York. Hardly moving, broken down vehicle, 280 eastbound. This is at 5th Street, exit 16. Waiting for a tow. This vehicle reportedly rolled over back onto its wheels. I can't picture it, but it doesn't sound great. So those jams, they're going back to Cleveland Avenue. And 78 is clear, by the way. Not seeing any problems on the Turnpike Parkway. Here's what you need to know about the bridges and tunnels. The Hudson side, 5 to 10 both ways at the George. And just some minor delays at the Lincoln and Holland. Queens and Brooklyn, really not bad on the LIE Belt and Grand Central. East River Crossing still jammed, but getting a little better. 59th Street Bridge, that crash being cleared. Gowanus BQE inbound. That's getting slow between the Guanas Canal and Cadman Plaza on the other side too between the Manhattan Bridge and Atlantic Avenue. Here's what we see on Long Island's Big Three, Northern State, Southern State, LIE. They are good to go through Nassau and Suffolk Counties. Traffic and transit every 10 minutes on the ones breaking traffic alerts whenever they happen. 1010 wins on 92.3 FM. Is your dealer claiming they are out of cars? Visit ShopEmpireAuto.com. ShopEmpireAuto.com is the one place to find thousands of cars and SUVs available for purchase Right now, shopempireauto.com. Shopempireauto.com. New concern in the skies. For the second day in a row, third time in a week, U.S. fighter jets have shot down a high altitude object over North America, this time over Canada. There has been no word on what it was or where it came from. Something shot down by a U.S. pilot way up north in Canada's Yukon. Canada and the United States will continue to work together through the Binational Command of NORAD to defend our two nations. That is Anita Anand. She's Canada's defense minister. There's no word yet either on what another U.S. pilot shot down down near Alaska a day before. Correspondent Tom Foti. Hours later, there were more concerns. According to NORAD, their radar detected something in the skies above Montana. Working with the FAA, the airspace was temporarily closed while fighter jets scrambled to see what was there. In the end, NORAD said that it was just a radar anomaly and the airspace was reopened. NORAD says they will continue to monitor the situation. Louis Martinez, ABC News, the Pentagon. Also today, the Chinese Maritime Authority says it is preparing to shoot down an unidentified object in the waters off Rizhou. There are no other details on that right now. And it all comes just over a week after jets shot down a suspected Chinese surveillance balloon off the coast of South Carolina. New development in the controversy over bullying at a New Jersey high school in the wake of a beating video that sent that went viral and the student's later death by suicide. 
Central Regional Superintendent Trianopolis Palopides has resigned only to eight days after the girl's death. After online reports that he made allegations that appeared to blame Andriana Kush and her family for her death. Her father is demanding accountability and justice. The 14-year-old's heartbroken father, Michael Cush, says she died by suicide last week. Adriana was the most happy, beautiful young lady in the world. The high school freshman punched, kicked, and dragged by fellow classmates. She was also hit with a water bottle. Cush says it was a tragic case of meaningless bullying that continued online after. Her Adriana was the embarrassment and humiliation. The Ocean County Prosecutor's Office says four students are facing charges, including aggravated assault and harassment. That is correspondent Rena Roy. Now, if you or someone you know needs help, you can call 988 eight any time for the suicide and crisis lifeline a smash and grab at a high-end soho boutique early yesterday police say burglars got away with some fifty two thousand dollars worth of merch from the merch from the Givenchy shoe boutique on green street early yesterday happened just before 7 30 police say three men and a woman smashed the door window with a hammer then just stuffed handbag shoes and clothes into a duffel bag and ran off nobody was hurt police are still looking for those suspects well, never mind the candy hearts. A Long Island man gave his wife a real liver for Valentine's Day. A Long Island, New York husband, T.J. Toby, donating a portion of his liver to his wife, Lauren, who suffers from PSC, which impacts the liver's ability to function and can be deadly. The mother of a toddler was in pain, and D.J. didn't want her to wait. When you factor in going on the transplant list and getting that random phone call when she would be you know sicker and sicker lauren says they now share more than ever it is the greatest act of love that could possibly exist the transplant was a success and both dj and lauren are recovering dave packer abc news it is 42 degrees partly sunny in the city acuma that says we're going up to 48 today in midtown coming up Police look for suspects in a really nasty robbery in Brooklyn. Thank you to all of the business owners who kept people employed during the pandemic. For all you've done, you may be eligible to claim the Employee Retention Tax Credit, a payroll tax refund from the United States Treasury Department, applicable to businesses who kept employees on payroll during the pandemic. The window is closing to claim your refund. Contact Paychex to see if you qualify. Paychex is proud to have helped more than 45,000 businesses secure over $9.2 billion in ERTC claims, an average of $190,000 per business. 50 years and thousands of experts in HR, payroll, benefits, and insurance. You may be eligible to claim the Employee Retention Tax Credit, a payroll tax refund from the United States Treasury Department, applicable to businesses who kept employees on payroll during the pandemic. The window is closing to claim your refund. Contact Paychex to see if you qualify. Visit Paychex.com slash ERTC to find out how Paychex can help you get additional cash into your business. Paychex.com slash ERTC. Paychex.com slash ERTC. The NYPD wants your help solving a particularly vile robbery in Brooklyn. Cops say these guys just showed up at the door of a 58-year-old woman in Brownsville before midnight, February 8th, claiming they were come from Con Ed. She let him in, one pulled a gun, and they proceeded to handcuff and blindfold her before stealing her TV and even what looked like her wheelchair. They were caught on surveillance video pushing that stolen stuff down the hallway in the chair. Woman wasn't hurt. Police have released the video. They urge anybody with information to call Crime Stoppers. Helping migrants top Mayor Adams' agenda yesterday as he joined a food and clothing distribution site on the Lower East Side. Mayor Adams visited an intake site on Essex Street for new immigrants. They lined up to shake his hand and take selfies with the mayor. Inside, a nonprofit called Aid for Life was giving out food and clothing. Mayor Adams was followed by a crush of reporters and camera crews. And when asked about protesters at the cruise terminal in Red Hook who say the migrants should be allowed to stay in city hotels, the mayor responded, Stop protesting and participate. We're doing it right. And, and as it was stated, nowhere in the country is doing what we are doing. The mayor insisted the migrants at the cruise terminal told him they're grateful and happy to be there. Carol Diori at 1010 Winds at 92.3 FM on the Lower East Side. There's a new airport scare yesterday. A terminal at New Hampshire's Manchester Boston Regional Airport closed for hours. Airport Director Ted Kitchens. The airport Communications Center received a call indicating a threat uh, against Spirit Airlines Flight 2025, which was flying from Manchester to Tampa. Passengers were removed from the aircraft. 
which was sub subsequently searched uh, and cleared by law enforcement. The airport was closed off for a while. Once passengers were rescreened, flights started moving again. Authorities are investigating. In Los Angeles, authorities are still trying to figure out how a passenger shuttle bus collided with an American Airlines jet that was being towed on the taxiway Friday night. Five people were hurt in that incident. 42, partly sunny, going up to 48 in Midtown. Traffic next on 10 Winds. Without the ones like you, who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional-grade industrial supplies. Count on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, click Granger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. At Staples, you can count on every project being print perfect, guaranteed. I need presentations and brochures printed, and they have to be perfect. Your bounded presentations, brochures with the finest folds, and more will be done right every time. That's our print big promise. Now at Staples, get $10 off your document printing and marketing materials order of $50 or more, plus 20% back by a store bonus. Try Staples and see the difference. Ends to 25 Rewards members only. Bonus must be redeemed in store. See staples.com slash stores slash print big for details. Are you or someone you love addicted to heroin or painkillers? Has your need for opioids taken control of your life? Do you want to quit but don't know where to turn for help? If so, listen closely. Research treatment studies at New York State Psychiatric Institute and Columbia University Irving Medical Center are offering free research treatment and follow-up treatment for heroin and prescription pain medicine use. They have the latest telehealth technology needed to conduct initial screening appointments virtually and are enforcing safe COVID-19 protocols for in-office visits. When you're in the program, you'll receive free medical and psychological evaluation and outpatient treatment visits. Conveniently located in Midtown Manhattan at Columbus Circle, to learn how they can help you, call or text 212-923-3031. Let them help you break the cycle for a better life. Call or text 212-923-3031 or visit them online at freetreatmentnyc.com. Winds use time 10 11. Traffic and transit now. Jody Vale. And Kathleen, here's what you need to know about the bridges and tunnels. If you're heading to the GWB, it's about 5 to 10 both ways. Lincoln and Holland just checking out some minor delays. Now, Queens and Brooklyn, we're seeing the slowdowns at the 59th Street Bridge. Earlier crash, it's clearing out, but uh, it is still a little slow. You may want to take the Queens Midtown Tunnel. LIE is not that bad. Gowanus, VQE inbound, it's bad. Between the Gowanus Canal and Cadman Plaza, then more delays on the other side between the Manhattan Bridge and Atlantic Avenue. Here's what we see on Long Island's Big Three, Northern State, Southern State, LIE, they're good to go. And if you're heading downtown into Manhattan, Lunar New Year Parade, 1 o'clock, heads down Mott Canal Streets, and it goes towards East Broadway and the Manhattan Bridge, so expect some heavy delays in the area. It's going to end near Grand Street next to Roosevelt Park, so we'll keep you up to date. Traffic is sponsored by Life Back from Jody Vale. Next report's coming up at 1021, 1010 wins on 92.3 FM. Every five days, a child dies of choking, and more than 5,000 people die every year. LifeVac is the easiest, safest, and most effective way to make sure this never happens to your loved ones. Go to LifeVac.net and use code NEWS at checkout to save 20%. Now the AccuWeather the four-day forecast with meteorologist Matt Benz. And the clouds winning out the sky battle here for today against the sun. And uh, for the rest of today, just turning out mostly cloudy. A high 48 degrees here for this afternoon. We are tracking a storm moving off the coast here for tonight. Could bring uh, at least a bit of rain and a breeze here to portions of the area, mainly from the city to Long Island and especially down the Jersey Shore. That's probably where we'll see the steadiest rain for the overnight. But if you're north and west of the city and literally just north and west of the city, you may not see much of anything here for tonight with a low 37. Tomorrow, early clouds breaking for some sunshine. Mild in the afternoon with a high 53. Good deal of sunshine Tuesday, high 54. Milder for Wednesday, breezy though with a high 59. Currently, it's 43 degrees in Central Park. We have a relative humidity at 38%. Repeating the current temperature is 43, going up to 48 this afternoon in Midtown. I'm your old Matt Benz on New York's weather station. 1010 wins on 92.3 FM. Got some money on the big game today? Yeah, you and millions of your closest friends. But if you're betting in New York, you can't wager on some of the more exotic stuff. Josh Inglis is a betting analyst at Covers. He tells 1010 wins some things are off limits. Yes, Gatorade color betting is okay, but no, we can't do it uh, on the length of the national anthem. There are some things like the 
the anthem and obviously Rihanna's halftime show. There's lots of bets being placed on that. Some of those have very great edges as things are leaked. New Yorkers wagered more than $470 million on the Super Bowl last year. That's expected to only go up this year. Wins News Time 1014 coming up. A mixed night for the locals. And yeah, it's kind of a big day in the NFL. It said we make 35,000 decisions a day. No wonder they don't all come out just right. Like when you pre-ordered those fresh sneakers, that dropped right when you repaid your friend for lunch. It happens. But overdrafts don't have to. Get extra time to cover your overdraft with Citizens Peace of Mind. So you can relax in those sweet kicks and focus on your next 34,999 decisions. Learn more about how to revert. Blurry. I don't know why the camera does that. 1010 Wen celebrates Black History Month with a spotlight on sports. New York boasts a rich history of many firsts. Emlyn Lewis Tunnel, sometimes known by the nickname of the Gremlin, was an American professional football player and coach. In 1948, Emlyn Tunnel became the first African-American player for the New York Giants. Fast forward to 1967, he also became the first black player to be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Wings used on 1015. Now Mark Renee with sports. You know, maybe the best part about today isn't the Super Bowl, which is pretty cool, of course, but the fact the rest of the sports world doesn't even try to compete. Everything else on the Sunday schedule done and dusted by kickoff, which is coming up 6.30 our time in Arizona. Of course, it's the Eagles against the Chiefs. Philly head coach Nick Sirianni was asked this week how we can minimize the impact of Kansas City quarterback Patrick Mahomes. Our job is to score points on offense. Um, you know, and that and and so sometimes that's the the way you you play it is is a keep away battle. Sometimes it is to you know try to score as many points as you possibly can. I've always been the, in the school of scoring as many points as you possibly can and trying to score more than the other guys. Which after all is what football is really all about. Meantime for KC coach Andy Reid who also coached the Eagles once upon a time. Today is fourth Super Bowl and he says he hasn't gotten there on his own. I've been fortunate to have good coaches, uh, assistant coaches that. Uh, work their tail off and then good players and normally if you have good coaches and good players that's a that's a good combination uh, to, for success and his chiefs are in the big game for the third time in four years now as for the previously mentioned everything else nothing doing at all for the Knicks, Nets, Rangers, Islanders or Devils but we do have some local college basketball that includes Manhattan home for St. Peter's at two o'clock the same time Fairfield will play host to Mount St. Mary's and Iona starting at one this afternoon on the road up at Niagara. Mark and A, 1010 Wind Sports on 92.3 FM. Wind's used on 1017. Happy Valentine's Day. Don't get scammed. That's the message from the Federal Trade Commission with a warning about romance scams, which they say are a growing problem online. Spokeswoman Emma Fletcher says an online friend is most likely to ask you for help with someone who is sick, hurt, or in jail. People are sharing private pictures, and those pictures are then used to uh, extort them, where they're, they're told that if they don't send money, those pictures will be shared with their social media contacts. We're seeing a lot of those reports. Investment on those offers are common, too. Well, it really is a superb owl Sunday. It all depends on where you put the space, after all. And good news about Flacco, the Central Park owl this morning. The bird, who has been on the loose for more than a week since a vandal cut a hole in his enclosure, has eaten on his own. Observers say Flacco expelled a pellet of indigestible material. That's a fancy bird watcher's way for saying barfed up hard stuff. It's a big deal because experts were pretty sure the Eurasian eagle owl had been in captivity so long he couldn't hunt on his own. But apparently he caught something and had a meal, and that means it gives rescuers more time to get him back where he belongs. Winds News Time 1018 Top Stories are next. Theirs was a love forbidden and a love immortal. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this special edition of Driving and the News. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. Hope you guys checked out the two Pride and Patterson videos I uploaded yesterday and the Fred Drives video I uploaded earlier today. I want to thank all my subscribers. We're up to 1,845 thus far and we're growing the community. So thank you for that. All right, we'll see you guys on the next Driving and the News.